channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Courtney and I am a stay-at-home homeschooling mom. My channel is all about mom-related content, whether it's motivation, cleaning videos, grocery hauls, homeschool, day-in-the-life videos, that sort of thing. You'll find all of it here. If that's something you're into, go ahead and click that subscribe button right now so you can keep up with all of the videos I have coming your way. Also, go ahead and click that like button for this video just because it helps me out so much. If you're a new subscriber, thank you guys so much for finding my channel. Welcome to my family. I appreciate all of you so much, and I am so glad to meet all of you. All right, so it's Friday, guys. Every Friday, I bring you guys a grocery haul. Today is no different. I did a curbside order from Walmart, a curbside order from HEB, and I popped into Market Street because they had a sale, and it was a good one, too. So without any more chatting, let's jump right in. I'll pop the prices up on the screen, and I'll show you a meal plan at the end. Here is an overview of my Walmart grocery order. As you can see, it is a pretty decent sized order this week. Let's start down here on the floor like we normally do. I did get this 24 count um, case of Sam's Cola. It's just like the Walmart brand of Coca-Cola. They were sold out of a bunch of different sodas, so I just grabbed this. Then we'll hop up here. If you watch my hauls, you know I buy eggs all the time. My family just kind of blows right through them, so I do have 36 eggs right here. Then right here in front, I do have a bag of jumbo hamburger buns. Um, my husband will be grilling me burgers again. I'm so excited. If you watch my past videos, you know I raved about his burgers. He really does grill the best burgers I've ever had. Back here, I've got these um, frozen tater tots to go with the burgers. Then over here, I have some coffee creamer. This one is a sugar-free French vanilla for my husband. And then for me, I have a zero sugar caramel macchiato. I have not tried this one before, but I am so looking forward to it. It sounds delicious. All right, I've got a gallon of lactate because one of my kids cannot have dairy milk. And then back here, I do have some ketchup. I realized when I was cooking dinner one night this week that I was almost out, and I just hopped on and added this to my grocery order real quick. Then I picked up four of these lunch makers. They're the ham flavor. I've been having a really hard time getting like Lunchables and stuff, but Walmart did happen to have these in stock this time. So I went ahead and grabbed four of them. I've got a bag of frozen peas and carrots. Uh, these are for a casserole I'm making for my husband's lunches this week. I did get a jar of Cheese Whiz. Uh, we'll be using this this week on Taco Tuesday to make some double decker tacos. Then right here I have a VIX uh, waterless tabletop vaporizer. So our humidifier stopped working and winter is almost here. Allergy season is here. So I did want to go ahead and replace it and I saw this and I thought we'd give it a try. Uh, it says it works for eight hours. You don't have to put water in it or anything. So I'm excited to see how this one works. All right, I've got a, a 12 count box of the uh, hazelnut little coffee pods for my husband and a 12 count box of the donut, donut shop flavored coffee pods for myself. And then I have got some chocolate milk just for fun. Back here in the back, I've got a four pack of these little mac and cheese cups. My kids really like Kraft and they were sold out of the little cups. So I just went ahead and ordered this because I think it's probably the same. And next to it, we do have a box of a seasonal cookie kit. This is the Whoopie Pie. It looks fun. I thought my kids would enjoy making this, so I went ahead and grabbed it. Uh, then we have some Kinder's Seasoning Master Salt. I have not tried this one, but I'm really, really enjoying the um, one that has the garlic, pepper, and salt in it. I use it on almost everything, so I wanted to try this one to see how it tasted. I've got a box of hot tamales because I buy these every week for my husband because he loves them. I've got some green icing. I found the cutest recipe for like these little witch cauldrons that are bubbling and boiling over and it called for this icing and some like little sprinkle things to go on top. They sold out of the sprinkles so I didn't get those but they did give me the icing and I have the brownie mix in my pantry. So hopefully I can make those soon. All right then for homeschool I did get these two packs of markers. My kids are super into art right now which is awesome um, but I feel like we're just blowing through markers. They're drying out so fast so I did get this 10 count pack of classic markers. And then I got this 20 count pack of super tip washable markers. It says there's 20 different colors and six scented colors. So we'll see how that works out. Next to it, I do have a box of cosmic brownies. Um, my middle son Camden love, love, loves these so much. So I do try to get them every once in a while to have on hand as a treat for him. 
I do have some ibuprofen because we are totally and completely out. Then I have two different candles. This one's warm apple pie, which I have gotten before and I love the way it smells. Then I've seen other people on YouTube talk about this mold cider. So I went ahead and ordered one and I've already smelled of it. Oh my gosh, they are not wrong. This candle smells so good. All right, back here I got a bag of animal crackers, just like a little snack for my kids to have. Then I did get some paper plates. Um, I like to have those on hand, just sometimes, you know, life throws you a curveball and it's easier not to have to wash dishes. I've got a pack of these pecan shortbread cookies because for whatever reason, I just really wanted them, so I ordered them. <laughs> um, and then I got this naked Thai style coconut and lemongrass uh, soup kit. I saw this on someone else's grocery haul and it looked so good. It kind of reminded me of like a Thai soup that I love. So I did go ahead and order a pack of this to check it out and see what it's like. So it is almost Halloween or, you know, a few weeks away anyway. Um, my kids have decided what they wanted, so I ordered a skeleton costume for my youngest son, Jensen. This is not actually the costume that I ordered. What I ordered was just a regular plain skeleton. It was $4.98, but they sold out, so they substituted me with this one, the Skeleton Phantom, which is fine. Um, this one was originally almost $16, and I still got it for $4.98, so I cannot complain. Then I got myself this cute little witch's hat headband. We're going to be going to a couple of different little outdoor Halloween things. I don't wear costumes, but I kind of wanted to get a little festive, so I picked this up. Then I also got these face jewels that I thought I would put on just to have a little fun. I might actually wear these to one event and then the hat to a different. We'll see. Then I did get myself three different wax melts. This one is uh, crisp fall leaves. This is one of my favorites. Then I got sea salt and sage. I've never had this one, but I already smelled it and I love it. And then warm leather and amber. This one doesn't smell as much like leather as I expected it to. It almost has more of like a vanilla scent to it, but that's okay. I mean, I still like it and my husband will love it because he likes vanilla scented things. So that is my Walmart grocery haul. Let's jump over real quick and take a look at all of the things that I got from Market Street. All right, so Market Street was definitely a win for me. I went in there for two different things that are up here and I ended up with way more than what I planned on, but that's okay. Um, so I did get three Red Baron pizzas. I got the five cheese, then I got the thin and crispy crust pepperoni, and then I got the classic crust sausage and pepperoni. And these were on sale three for nine. I thought that was a pretty good deal. So I did pick those up. And then I went in for the chicken, buy one, get one free. So this, let's see how much chicken is in here. Um, this is like two and a half pounds of chicken and it was $10. And this is also two and a half pounds of chicken for $10. So for $10 total, I got five pounds of chicken, which is a pretty good deal. Um, these are huge, huge, huge chicken breasts. So each one of these will make a meal that lasts for probably two nights. Um, it is a lot of, of chicken. Like if you're shredding it or something like that, it's going to go pretty far. Then I did check the meat department and of course I lucked out and got some sales. This is just some regular uh, stir fry meat. Usually it's $5, but I got it at a discounted price for $3 and 45 cents. And then I got two of these. These are some seasoned Mexican pork. And there, let's see, this one was a uh, regular price for 72. I got it for $2.83. And then this is the same kind of pork. Regular price $4.66. And I got it for $2.79. This stuff is actually really good on like nachos or burritos or tacos. Um, I just kind of cook it up in a skillet and then just chop it up and it's really seasoned well, super delicious. So I usually try to keep some of that in my freezer just because it's a quick and easy go-to dinner. Then back here, I did get some goldfish. We got the Flavor Blasted Extra Cheddar for Jensen. And then I saw these Frank's Red Hot Goldfish. I decided to grab those for my oldest son, Xander, just because he likes like buffalo sauce and spicy things. So I picked those up for him. I also picked these three stir fry cups up for my son Xander. I got sweet chili flavor, teriyaki beef flavor, and Korean barbecue. And then because HEB was out of the little snack kits I usually get for my husband, I picked up one pack of these Sargento balanced breaks while I was at Market Street. And because HEB was also out of really big tortillas, I went ahead and picked these up while I was at Market Street. 
And that is my little Market Street haul. Let's take a look at HEB. All right, so HEB was definitely a little bit bigger than it usually is. Back here, I have a big 24 count HEB waffles. Uh, these are what my kids really like to eat, so I usually keep these in our deep freeze. Uh, I've got some crispy rounds. These are kind of like tater tots, but they're like flat and round instead of tater tot shaped. They crisp up really nicely. We like these quite a bit. Then I have got three pounds of ground beef. We'll use this for a casserole for my husband's lunch this week and also for some tacos. All right, so then I got this uh, taco meat. It's pollo casero. I think that's how you say it. It's just like a, a seasoned chicken and it's really, really good. You just, you can grill it or throw it in your skillet or whatever. So I like to just throw it in like my cast iron skillet on the stove top and uh, cook it till it's a little brown and a little bit crispy. And then we just shred it up and put it in tacos. Super delicious. Um, I did get a pound of shrimp. It was on sale this week at HEB. We had a crab boil last weekend and instead of putting like everything in the boil, I just boiled the crab and then I cooked the corn and potatoes and shrimp on a sheet pan and it was so good. My husband and my kids asked if I would do that again. So I picked up this pound of shrimp and I've got some potatoes and I've got some frozen corn. So we're gonna have that one night. I did go ahead and get this giant bag of chicken wings. I didn't have any and I do like to cook these sometimes in my air fryer and they're simple and easy. So I just kind of keep them on hand. So I went ahead and grabbed these. I got one can of these um, New York Land diced fire roasted tomatoes. These are for me to make um, some salsa with when we have tacos. Here are some taco shells, the bold nacho cheese flavor. I do have two boxes because there's only 10 in there, but this is what we like to use to make our double decker tacos. I have some of this butter lettuce. I use this to make sandwiches for myself. I don't put any bread or anything like this is the bread and I just put the meat and cheese, tomatoes, all that kind of stuff inside the lettuce and roll it up. It's super tasty and it cuts a lot of the calories when you don't have bread. I did get some refried beans. Um, we were gonna have some tostadas this week, but HEB said they sold out of the tostada shells. Um, so either I will go pick some up or we'll have something different. But I really like these Isadora beans. They're super, super good. I mean, really, really good. So I got two packages of those. Then I got two poblanos. That is for that salsa that I'm gonna be making. Um, I do have a video that shows my homemade salsa. It's super simple. It's like a restaurant style salsa. I can link that below so you guys can see how I do that. I have a bag of cheese sticks. This is for Jensen because he really likes cheese sticks. I got some pepper jack cheese. This is for when I make my little butter lettuce sandwiches up there. I really like pepper jack cheese. And then I still have some Canadian bacon in the fridge, so that's what I'll be using. I did get each one of my kids some candy because it was on sale. So Camden gets Reese's, Jensen gets cookies and cream, and Xander will have this Kit Kat Duos, the mocha plus chocolate. I picked up these cookies. They are so, so good. Like, it's just like a simple little biscuit with that chocolate on top, but they are delicious. It's a nice little, like, one cookie after dinner. It's just perfect. I did get two heads of cauliflower. Um, we love cauliflower. This would be a great side this week. I've got a head of iceberg lettuce for when we do tacos and hamburgers. All right, I did get a bag of Texas-sized potatoes. Uh, if you've heard the saying, everything's bigger in Texas, that's also true with the Texas-sized potatoes. They are quite large. Um, I just have regular sized potatoes in my pantry, but these are handy for baked potatoes and stuff like that just because they are so big. I got my dogs some of these good and fun triple flavor kebabs. They have uh, chicken and duck and chicken liver. Doesn't sound good to me, but my dogs love them. I did get a pack of these pork loin boneless Texas style ribs. Um, I didn't have a meal plan for them right now. I just kind of needed to restock my deep freeze a little bit, so I picked these up. And I also got this uh, Texas style beef ribs. They're boneless as well. I'll just repackage these with my vacuum sealer and toss them into the uh, deep freeze and have them on hand for when we're ready to cook them. And of course, the last thing I almost missed, I got two packs of these tortillas. They're just like the fajita size. They're not that big, but we do use these for a lot of things. So I like to keep them on hand. And that is my HEB grocery haul. All right guys, so here is our meal plan for the week. It is a short meal plan, but that's okay. So as I mentioned on Sunday, my husband's going to grill those burgers and they will last through Monday. And then on Tuesday, I'm gonna make those double decker tacos and they will last through Wednesday. And then on Thursday, I am making some sheet pan shrimp. It's just like um, 
shrimp and potatoes and corn and seasoning like you would get in a crab boil kind of um, and you just cook it on a sheet pan in your oven super simple but also super tasty I don't know if we'll have any leftovers from that if we do great and if we don't I will throw something together because we have plenty of food in the deep freeze but that is our meal plan for the week all right guys so that is it for this week's grocery haul thanks so much for tuning into my channel and checking out this video I appreciate it so much and I'll see you all really soon with another video. Bye guys.